I was just as cultish as my dad was cultish. It was just, we were cultish in our own different ways. Animator Sanjay Patel knows what it's like to be torn between two cultures. Every morning I worship my gods on the TV, and my dad worshipped his gods in his shrine. The product of Gujarati immigrants, Patel grew up in Southern California, spending most of his time at the family motel, with TV his primary companion. With the motel, you can't really go anywhere because there's always, you always got to work at the motel. And since we lived there, we were kind of, it was kind of felt like I was kind of stuck there. And so uh, I just watched a lot of TV. I was kind of raised on cartoons. Cartoons and comic books triggered Patel's interest in drawing, a talent that's taken him down a remarkable path. The only thing I was ever good at was drawing. I really wish I was good at math and science and engineering because <laughs> then I'd be a good daisy, like, boy. Patel studied at Cal Arts, a university created by Walt Disney to help artists hone their aesthetic skills. I was like, what? You can get a job and you can go to school to, like, become an animator? And yeah, I just thought that was amazing. While in school, Pixar, then a new Disney acquisition, came calling. And Patel soon found himself with a job at a company that is now one of the largest and most revered animation studios in the world. But after a decade of working on films in a Western animation style, Patel looked to his own heritage for a new path forward. Once I found Asian art, it was just like this huge dose of inspiration because it was storytelling, but it was storytelling that was um, trying to pass on these morals and these sort of timeless points of wisdom. He began to repurpose Hindu mythology on the side in the form of children's books. After years of double duty, the top brass at Pixar took note and asked him to bring these tales to life. They're like, hey, Sanjay, why don't you like bring these ideas into work? Why don't you develop a short? And I was just so reluctant. Patel eventually pitched his ideas to Disney Pixar legend John Lasseter, who saw the potential in not just the reimagining of Hindu folklore, but in Patel's personal relationship with his father and their two disparate cultures. Straight away, John locked in on that. And he's like, you know, Sanjay, just tell that story. Tell your story and keep it as true and as personal as possible, and people will connect to it. This effort has culminated in Sanjay's super team. Pixar's first Indian-themed short that is now garnering acclaim for its portrayal of the relationship of a father and son. This was how Sanjay's own father reacted when he saw it for the first time. Yeah, you get no sad. Yeah, no. It's a, it's a, I'm emotional in such a way because my hope is coming true. Sanjay's super team is now up for an Academy Award for the Best Animated Short, a recognition that shows it's okay to celebrate identity and the personal side of a story. That's all I wanted was that we're not the butt of a joke and we're also part of the community and this culture and it's totally normal. <laughs>